My name is John Alan. I'm an investigative journalist. I work for Africa Uncensored. Uh, Africa Uncensored is an investigative and in-depth media company um, based in Nairobi. And uh, you're looking for my input on uh, access to information. Well, I think in Kenya, um, the access to information law is definitely more robust than in East Africa. But I think what, what we find is, is that the culture doesn't match the law. So the law is uh, fairly progressive in the kinds of access that you're able to give, but there are various provisos and caveats that, that allow for government, or government officials, etc. To, to deny public um, the rights to access to information, specifically uh, journalists. What I found to be useful is that when applying for uh, an access to information request or making an access to information request, if the 21 days lapse um, before I get the information that I want, then you, you try the commission for the for administration of justice, specifically the ombudsman's office, uh, to be able to try and get the information that you require, or at the very least a, a response. What needs to improve really is the response times. I think um, public officers have a, have a responsibility to treat access to information requests seriously not just from journalists but from the public but i think what would be even of greater benefit is an open governance approach to information so where you have information for instance about contracts um, that the government engages in those are things that should be made public because it is a public person that then pays um, for these contracts if you're looking at personal information that is you know specific to me then of course you know that 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 shouldn't be in the public domain and there should be certain restrictions around what kind of information you're able to get but i think once the government approaches this from an open governance point of view it can really help. look at the impact that uh, just publishing um, the procuring the procuring entities that, that uh, procure services on behalf of the government via tenders.geo.ke has done for increasing openness um, in terms of um, analysis of various tenders, um, beneficiaries, beneficial ownership, things like that are important. So building on access to information laws requires both the culture, secondly the approach, and I think other laws that would be helpful that are ancillary to that for, for instance, beneficial ownership um, is something that would be important for members of the public to, to be able to get uh, free access to.